सो हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स स्टूडेंट्स एंड गाइस हु आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आई एम संजय घेजी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज माय फोर्थ वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू यूज द पी एच चार्ट एंड द प्रॉपर्टी टेबल्स ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेंट्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू वेपर कॉम्परेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम्स द लिंक्स टू ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियोज are given in the description so please watch them in case uh, if you have skipped or uh, you have just uh, missed it out today it's going to be very important and uh, interesting also to understand the use of ph chart for vcrs cycle analysis uh, i will solve one classic problem of a vcrs cycle using ph chart <coughs> of a refrigerant and that will give you clear idea on how to attempt a variety of uh, vcrs problems using ph charts okay uh, let's get to the problem statement so see you can on the screen you can read the problem statement A uh, 15 tons R134A refrigerant plant has a saturated suction temperature of minus 26 degrees Celsius. The condensation takes place at plus 40 degrees Celsius. Assuming simple saturated vapor compression, uh, find following using pH chart. And uh, what we find is uh, COP of the plant. mass flow rate of refrigerant power required to run the plant in kilowatt power required per tr theoretical piston displacement rate per tr heat rejection in condenser and heat rejection ratio these many items have to be found out <coughs> and uh, we have been asked to do this using ph chart specifically uh, instruction is given what to do about this okay uh, let us try to understand the situation it is given that 15 tons now tons doesn't mean the weight of the system it is actually the refrigeration capacity 15 ton of refrigeration refrigerant type is given r134a so it has a saturated suction temperature now this uh, relates to evaporating temperature so it is minus 26 degrees celsius condensation so uh, condensing temperature is given plus 40 degrees celsius and uh, we have also to assume that uh, simple saturated vapor compression cycle okay so this uh, this much data is available to us from this uh, we can write this uh, given data in a in a suitable format now this is a case of simple saturation cycle so from the knowledge of this uh, we can draw a simple sketch <coughs> of the cycle uh, now this is working between the two temperature limits on condensing side it is a plus 40 degree celsius and on evaporator side minus 20 degree celsius and the simple saturation cycle will be like this okay uh, this gives some this gives us some idea uh, about the <coughs> about the uh, end states uh, and the processes now we have to plot uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, this processes and the cycle on to the actual ph chart of r134a okay now let us go to the uh, chart of r134a so this is how the ph chart of r134a looks like this we all know uh, in the last uh, video also we have seen this okay uh, let me show you my work and this is the copy on which uh, i have i have solved this problem and i have got uh, this solution this is actually a final picture of what work i have done on to this okay uh, but uh, don't worry i am going to explain you uh, right from the start that uh, how i did this how i achieved this uh, diagram and how i plotted uh, all, all those things and how i obtained the uh, required properties okay Uh, now a little hint for you is a rather co caution note is that now see this is the uh, this is the original copy of ph chart uh, that comes with the property table booklet that you purchase from the bookstore 
सो कीप दिस एज अ मास्टर कॉपी डोंट डोंट वर्क ऑन इट डायरेक्टली ऑलवेज कैरी ऑलवेज गेट सम जेरोक्स कॉपीज ऑफ दिस और प्रिंट कॉपीज ऑफ दिस सो एज अ स्पेयर एंड डू ऑल द वर्क और एक्टिविटी और योर प्रैक्टिस ऑन टू द जेरोक्सेस एंड एंड कीप दिस अनअफेक्टेड ओके डोंट सो डोंट स्पॉइल और डैमेज दिस ओरिजिनल कॉपी विद द परमानेंट मार्क्स विद द स्पेन और स्केच पेन और सो ओके सो दैट्स द क्वेश्चन नोट फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू let us get to the problem back now see uh, we know two temperature limits one is the condensing temperature and the other is the evaporating temperature let us start from here now see the evaporating temperature is given minus 26 degrees celsius now uh, uh, we will locate the uh, saturation temperature of minus 26 degrees celsius on onto uh, saturated liquid curve here it is minus 25 minus 30 now in between uh, minus 26 is in between it is just 1 degree below minus 25 so uh, by approximation and judgment uh, uh, this point is marked and through this uh, pass a horizontal line that crosses the that uh, that meets the pressure axis here uh, so it is here one bar so thereby we get the uh, saturation pressure or evaporating pressure of one bar corresponding uh, this is corresponding to this temperature okay and this line you can extend up to uh, uh, this saturation saturation vapor curve or beyond okay now after this uh, let us locate the condensing temperature and now at the saturated uh, liquid curve uh, we have 40 degree celsius here now through this pass a horizontal line that is constant pressure line uh, which crosses the pressure axis at uh, this point again uh, it is crossing somewhere in between 10 and 15 Uh, we have to interpolate in between and uh, by judgment we have to get to this figure okay 10.2 bar is the approximate figure i get from this okay so this is how the condensing temperature of uh, 40 degree celsius this is fixed so vcr cycle will work between this uh, condensing temperature and evaporator temperature or the condensing pressure and evaporator pressure these are the two pressure limits or temperature limits for this uh, vapor compression refrigeration cycle now uh, this now we know that uh, the suction to the compressor that is point number 1 will be on saturated vapor curve so we will find it by uh, by finding the uh, uh, crossing point or intersection of uh, this this pressure line evaporator pressure line with the saturated vapor curve so this is the point where uh, we get the point number 1 okay this is the suction condition that is point number 1 now located here okay now we know that 1 to 2 is the process of uh, isentropic compression so <laughs> and here we know the isentropic uh, uh, or constant entropy lines are like this okay nature of uh, lines is like this so we will, so we will have to follow a constant entropy line which is passing through this point 1 and uh, leading up to we have to follow it up uh, and leading up to uh, the point where it crosses the uh, condensing temp condensing pressure line okay this is the condensing pressure line and uh, now here uh, luckily i get that uh, uh, i the uh, available uh, entropy line that is 1.76 is uh, uh, is just rightly passing through this point 1 so i can follow this line up to the point up uh, where it crosses the pressure line so this line and this line these uh, uh, cross each other at this point so point uh, number 2 is marked here so uh, this is the discharge of compressor 1 to 2 process is now marked okay now from pro, uh, 2 to 3 process 2 to 3 is constant pressure condensation process okay so i have to follow uh, the constant pressure line from uh, the 2 to 3 so this is the direction of process now at the end of compression uh, i know that for a simple saturation cycle the uh, exit point of condenser lies on the saturated liquid curve so uh, point number 3 can be easily located on this saturated liquid curve okay then process 3 to 4 is a constant enthalpy process or isenthalpic process so uh, constant enthalpy lines are vertical on this ph chart 
uh, we can draw the vertical line from 3 and uh, it will now cross at uh, evaporator pressure here so this will be the intersecting point or crossing point with the pressure line evaporator pressure line will be point number 4 ok now this way uh, we joined all 1 2 3 4 points together and the uh, vapor compression refrigeration cycle is now plotted ok it is now complete now after uh, marking all the points uh, next task is to find out the required uh, property values the primary properties required are the enthalpy values at 1 2 3 4 that we can easily get at the on the enthalpy scale okay apart from the enthalpy uh, whatever other properties uh, are there the th <coughs> those can be found out as per the uh, as, as per asked or as per required in the problem you know, other associated properties are like uh, density, temperature, uh, entropy, etc. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now let us read the po for point number one. This is point number one. Uh, now, for the sake of understanding, uh, I have done all the all the activity or all those uh, uh, readings I have shown on this uh, diagram itself. You don't have to do like this. Uh, you can list out the property we can read the properties here and we can list it out on the uh, uh, some other paper or on which you are completing your solution uh, let us now read point number one so enthalpy uh, i came down like this and uh, it reads here as h1 equal to hg1 equal to 385 kilojoule per kg okay now g suffix g is for saturated vapor properties okay g uh, suffix g is used for the saturated vapor properties enthalpy entropy uh, everything okay in the same way uh, for saturated liquid uh, properties uh, the suffix f is used like here it is uh, shown for point number three that is f for saturated liquid uh, suffix okay in this so uh, s1 entropy sg1 equal to 1.76 kilojoule per kg okay uh, now in the problem uh, uh, we have been asked to find uh, piston displacement rate that is uh, uh, that is in that is given in meter cube per second so uh, and uh, for that uh, specific volume at uh, the uh, at the suction condition of the compressor is required so for that uh, purpose i need to read one uh, specific volume but uh, on the chart uh, uh, density is given and we know that density is a reciprocal of uh, specific volume so from that we can easily obtain it now see uh, here point number one is lying between th these two uh, dashed lines which are meant for the uh, density lines okay now, uh, now this line reads as a 4 kg per meter cube this is a, uh, this is 6 kg per meter cube and, and in between there is a point number one so what I have to do is you can see this blue line blue dotted line uh, <coughs> I uh, have to again make some judgment and approximation uh, and I have to pass this dotted line which is just parallel to these two lines ok now I draw uh, uh, so I uh, drew this like this uh, and then I have to uh, <coughs> approximately assign the value ok now see here it is 4 here it is 6 ok and this line is quite closer to uh, line of 6 ok so uh, if it was in between it could it could have been the middle of 4 and 6 that is uh, 5 but it is a little bit uh, closer to 6 so i have just fixed it up as 5.5 uh, at some approximate value okay uh, in this way i also listed out this density rho 1 equal to rho g1 that is 5.5 uh, kg per meter cube and reciprocal of this that is specific volume small v1 equal to 0 0.181 meter cube per kg so this is how the point number one properties are uh, uh, done then for point number two i need only enthalpy that's sufficient so h2 equal to 435 kilojoule per kg that i read read out here and on the enthalpy scale here okay then for point number three required enthalpy uh, can be read like this here i came down and uh, since it is uh, saturated liquid condition so suffix f is used so h3 equal to hf hf3 and h4 equal to 260 now why h4 because uh, this is a constant enthalpy line then for point number four same enthalpy applies okay 
ड्यू टू कॉन्स्टेंट एंथलपी प्रोसेस टू सिक्सटी ओके देन फॉर पॉइंट नंबर फोर ओके फोर इज इक्वल टू दिस टू सिक्सटी नाउ फोर इज इन दी रीजन ऑफ लिक्विड प्लस वेपर मिक्सर सो इट कैरी इट इट इज असोसिएटेड विथ ड्रैनेस फ्रैक्शन इट्स एक्जैक्ट लोकेशन विल बी गिवन बाय ड्रैनेस फ्रैक्शन लेट एस से इट इज एक्स फोर ओके एंड दिस कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय सिंपल कैलकुलेशन इन दिस इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज नॉट आस्ट इट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड दिस ड्रैनेस फ्रैक्शन बट स्टिल आई वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन हियर दैट्स इट इज अ गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज Uh, this knowledge will help you handling or dealing with uh, this drainage fraction in some other problems and uh, whenever it is asked okay so for that purpose i am explaining it uh, or uh, making it clear here only okay so this is a drainage fraction uh, to find out this uh, uh, we have to make use of uh, some relation uh, now see for point number 4 corresponding saturation states are this and this that is corresponding saturated liquid is this at uh, this uh, uh, curve and uh, corresponding vapor will be uh, at on this curve that is point number 1 okay so uh, th those properties we can read out that is corresponding saturated liquid property that is enthalpy it is hf4 f for uh, liquid saturated liquid 4 that is corresponding to 4 so it reads 165 kJ per kg and uh, vapor it is equal to h1 so it also reads like hg4 now g4 uh, superheated uh, saturated vapor equal to hg1 equal to 385 okay now this part uh, the difference between this and this from this point to this point that is uh, hg minus hf this is this is the latent enthalpy okay and this is the latent enthalpy applies to uh, whole part okay uh, but the point is uh, in between so the latent enthalpy associated uh, with this will be uh, in proportion to drainage fraction so we have to multiply by that uh, to f now it is given like this enthalpy at h point number 4 will be like this uh, up to this part from this to this part it is all uh, liquid enthalpy that is hf4 and from this to this it is the uh, latent enthalpy uh, uh, <coughs> latent enthalpy in proportion to x4 so it is given like this h h4 equal to hf4 plus x4 into hg4 minus hf4 which uh, and it is equal to this 260 from and th then uh, by putting these figures uh, here 165 here 385 and here it is 260 from this we can find out x4 and it comes out as point 43 okay so uh, the drainage fraction uh, uh, is found and uh, uh, always we need this equation uh, to find out uh, the drainage fraction at the given condition okay so this is how all the properties required properties have been listed out uh, let us uh, get let us get back to the problem solution uh, remaining calculations now see uh, <coughs> now uh, co to find the cop of the plant uh, refrigerating effect re is given by h1 minus h4 so put the values then we will get 125 kJ per kg in the same way work input is h2 minus h1 uh, by putting values we get 50 kJ per kg And cop is the ratio of refrigerating effect to work input so 125 by 50 2.5 this is the first answer okay now second mass flow rate of refrigerant mr now we know that refrigerating capacity in kilowatt is given by product of mass flow rate of refrigerant and refrigerating effect so from this knowledge uh, we are uh, we are finding out this so refrigerating capacity divided by uh, refrigerating effect uh, capacity is in tons so convert it into kilowatt by multiplying this factor because 1 tr equal to 3.5167 kilowatt so 15 into this Uh, this comes out the uh, cooling capacity 52.75 kilowatt divided by uh, refrigerating effect so we get uh, mass flow rate as 0.422 kg per second now power required to run the plant that is compressor power it is given by mr into uh, work input so 
so mr into th uh, this value we get uh, power input as 221.10 kilowatt okay now we now it is required to find power required per tr per ton of refrigeration that is w star okay now we know that uh, uh, we have got wc that is power input uh, 21.10 kilowatt now this this much is power this much power is required for uh, 15 ton of refrigeration okay then uh, now we have to find out for, for one ton of refrigeration so we can divide so we divided this value by 15 tons so we get this value 1.4 kilowatt per tier okay or uh, we can use the general definition or general formula of w star which is 3.5167 divided by cop of refrigerating plant so by putting this also we get the same figure okay now theoretical piston displacement rate uh, per tr uh, v star denoted by v star now it depends on the mass flow rate m star uh, which is the uh, uh, per tr kg per second per tr okay then m star is uh, given by this uh, formula 3.5167 divided by refrigerating effect so we obtain 0 0.0281 kg per second per tr then uh, uh, m star multiplied by the specific volume at the suction condition that is point number one to the compressor uh, we get the v star that is 0 0.005 meter cube per second per tr this is the point uh, where we require this uh, specific volume v1 that's why on the ph chart let me show you uh, we on ph chart we uh, we actually uh, found out the specific volume like this okay by reading the density and thereby taking the this is uh, for this step actually it was required to read the density here itself okay now uh, next is uh, heat rejection con in condenser so it is given by mr into qc that is mr into h2 minus h3 and uh, we get qc equal to 73.85 kilowatt then heat rejection ratio is the ratio of uh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> the heat re heat uh, heat rejected in condenser to heat uh, absorbed in the evaporator or h2 minus h3 by h1 minus h4 by putting the values we get it as 1.4 okay I hope uh, you, you you understood it all uh, all the steps I have shown to you. This is the now with this com problem is completed. Uh, if you have still in doubt, uh, you can replay this video and watch uh, watch it step by step by by make by pausing in between. Uh, <coughs> and uh, also would suggest you that uh, do this exercise uh, as I have shown to you uh, along with me uh, and. Uh, <coughs> And also you have to uh, solve a uh, variety of problems uh, and you have to handle the uh, pH charts uh, <coughs> and so so that you can develop your ability in handling this uh, charts. Okay, uh, th that's it for today. Uh, in the next video, I am going to solve the same problem uh, using, the P using the property tables. Let me show you uh, this way. These are the property tables. Uh, we, uh, now we have solve the problem using only ph diagram we can also solve this problem using the property table such property tables uh, that we will see in the next video okay uh, till then <coughs> i would uh, request you if uh, you have not subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe uh, you may share this video with or uh, my channel uh, with your friends your colleagues uh, or your known associates uh, also like if you have liked this video uh, you <coughs> uh, you can uh, leave some message to for me or you can raise your doubts or whatever uh, that's on your mind you can put in the comment section uh, and also hit the bell icon to to receive the latest uh, notifications on the uh, videos okay thank you uh, take care <coughs> have a have a nice day and uh, have, have a great time ahead Okay, uh, thank you.